Hi guys and welcome to another ESP32 technical tutorial. In this edition we're going to build on something we covered just the other week which was using a Bluetooth Low Energy on an ESP32 using C++ classes. In this edition we're going to add two new concepts. We're going to add the capability to indicate or per, per, I'm sorry perform notifications from the ESP32 to the BLE controller to which the ESP32 is, is communicating. So imagine if you like that the ESP32 is performing the role of a BLE peripheral and uh, the ESP uh, the BLE controller connects to the ESP32 there's now a connection between them and now what we want to happen is the ESP32 performing the role of a BLE peripheral to be able to notify the BLE central when something changes now this is done so that we can minimize power consumption so there's no need to form a permanent connection between the two devices but when the ESP32 determines that something has changed for example a sensor reading or something else then it can perform a notification against the corresponding back end so here we see ESP32 code and this is using the C++ BLE classes. Now this is very similar to what we saw the other week. We create a BLE server. We say that we want to create a service on that server. We say that we want to create a characteristic on that service and this is the characteristic which can be read from the partner or written to from the partner and what we've added here is the notion that it can also notify the partner. So we've created a characteristic which can be performing notifies. The other thing that we've added is the notion that we can define a callback which will be called during certain events. In this case, this is a server callback. And the server callback will be called whenever the partner connects to us or whenever it disconnects from us. When it connects, what we do is we start a new background task and what that task does is it loops and every two seconds executes a notify with an incrementing value. So what this means is that our BLE logic running on the ESP32, as we see it's defined in these four or five lines here, creates a server, creates a service, creates a characteristic, starts the, uh, the, the service, starts advertising. And then when we are connected to by our partner, we will start a task and the task will periodically, every two seconds, notify the connected partner of a new value which is incrementing by one. Well, that sounds great. That sounds super. So what are we going to use as the other end of our BLE communication? So we, so far we've said here that the ESP32 can act as the BLE peripheral. So what might we use as a BLE central? And this is where I want to introduce another concept. And this one has got nothing to do with ESP32 and has everything to do with an industry browser standard called Web Bluetooth. Now here's the notion behind Web Bluetooth. Web Bluetooth allows a browser, so primarily Chrome, but allows a browser to connect to a BLE peripheral that's within range of the browser. So imagine, if you will, that you download a web page into your browser. That browser contains, that web page contains JavaScript. The browser then runs that JavaScript. And in the JavaScript, the logic says to connect to a BLE peripheral and start doing work against it. And here is an example, and as you see, it's not that much, it looks hell of a complicated, but it's not that much code. But what we're seeing here is the logic which runs in a browser. So here's a simple web page. Here's my few lines of web page. It's got a button on it called test. When I click the test button, then this piece of logic gets run here. And what this logic does, and again, this is this is standard Chrome uh, JavaScript. What it does is it connects to the uh, uh, request the device, 
connection. We can then select a device. We can then select the primary service. We can connect to it. We can get the characteristic. We can start listening for notifications. And when a notification arrives, we get called back and we're told the new value. And what we do is update the web page. So if that sounds like a whole bunch of gobbledygook, when you see it in action. So here is my ESP32. It's running, it started advertising, it's been advertising. Now let me connect to a browser on my cell phone. So this is a Chrome browser. Let me refresh the page. So here I am running on my cell phone. Let me hit the test button here and the browser brings up a list of devices within BLE scanning range. We select the uh, the uh, 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 the the device, and I hadn't previously disconnected it. Let me try it again. I select the device, and now the browser has paired with my ESP32, and the browser is now being notified whenever my ESP32 decides to send out new notification messages. So we see here that my ESP32 is sending out a notification, value 10, value 11, and every couple of seconds, value 12, and we see that this is being updated in the browser's web page. And again, let's be clear on this. I'm showing you two things simultaneously, both of which I consider to be pretty darn cool. The first is that within our ESP32 application, within just a few lines of code, I can create a BLE service, create a characteristic, register a call back to be called when somebody connects, and start advertising. When somebody connects, I can start an ESP32 task, and what that task does is every two seconds set a new value and then notify anybody who's connected to me. And again, this is the ESP32 BLE code. In total, 80 lines of code, some commentary, some other junk, but this is ridiculously easy. And then we turn our attention to browser. And again, this is just browser. This is not Android or iOS programming. This is browser. Here I have some simple web page and some simple JavaScript. And this JavaScript here in the browser connects to my ESP32, says which service, which characteristic, starts registering for notifications on that characteristic, defines an event handler which will be called whenever the ESP32 notifies, and when a new value comes in, we update the web page with the new value. And as we see here on my cell phone, we are continually incrementing the value because that is what is being published by the ESP32. So, whole world of things, but hopefully what you just saw here may make you go, ooh, because what you're seeing here is publishing from an ESP32 through Bluetooth to a browser running on a cell phone and having the data that was BLE transmitted updated the web page on the cell phone. And it doesn't get much simpler than that. I hope you found this useful, and I look forward to making more of these in the future. Thanks now, and bye-bye.